Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today we're at day number seven. And today we're going to take a look at creating a pie chart, an animated pie chart even, in After Effects. And I'm going to create a pie chart of my favorite bars in percentage of awesomeness. And which I'm not going to animate, we also have a bar graph of my favorite pies in percentage of tastiness. But you can download the project files for free and get all of this uh, stuff to take a look at. And uh, we can animate this uh, circle here, but how we're going to build this is important. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to create a circle here, like this, oh, just a circle. A flat circle kind of I want this shape kind of so I'm going to uh, give it a stroke uh, now it has one point so we're going to put the stroke at let's say 400 so it's a really thick stroke I'm going to make it a bit smaller I'm just going to uh, make this 500 now and I want to close this ring here let's take it 600 I'm going to now the thing is too big and now I can click on this button here as well to fill it up but I can also hold shift while clicking to make it go a bit faster so keep clicking it until it's almost full and then we can click it and then until it's boom it's there nice okay so now we have this circle with is which is actually an outline i'm going to import that into after effects which i've already done here and i've made this red so the bottom color here and what i'm going to add here is a trim paths effect so go to open it up go to add and then trim paths and then open that up and then if we drag down uh, the end here we can see that it's actually revealing itself and I want to start here at zero so I'm going to create a keyframe for that and a bit later in time I'm going to place this at 100 give this some nice easing easing easy ease like that yeah that's maybe a lot of a bit too much easing but okay this is um, the first part so now I'm going to let's cut this off right here press command D to duplicate it I'm going to send here duplicate it I'm going to change the color to this other color here and I'm going to press U to open the uh, keyframes and this one I'm going to put it like 90 so with with or maybe 95 so with this uh, trim paths of this kind of dark blue one we're going to um, determine how big the red one should be so like this duplicate it again press command D and here we're going to uh, let's see oh change the color first or I can see what I'm doing like that all right so maybe put this at 75 and then we have got the duplicate again duplicate you and then change the color to uh, this one okay and change this to here I guess I don't know and then duplicate it again and then make that this darker purple all right so I guess something like this and now you can change the how everything looks of course but this uh, is basically it so now everything opens up like this looks really cool and you can of course change the position or the if you want to add a, a bit more of delay in between you can do that by doing it like this which also looks great and what we can also do is create a new null object so we're going to layer new null object there you go i'm going to place it in the middle oops in the middle here zoom in place the anchor point in the middle of this stuff here and then parent all of this stuff to that thing and then we can also give this a rotation so while this everything is opening up rotation and go a bit back here and then maybe turn it around like this and give that kind of the same movement this could look nice so we get a little bit of an extra movement in there as well maybe that's a bit too much so put it at one at minus 50 that's enough maybe yeah cool oops a bit heavy yeah that looks great really nice um, and if what we can also do maybe is um, create a if I select all of this and then make a pre-composition by pressing command shift C call this pies or pie 
chart. And then I'm gonna select this circle shape, put the stroke down and put the fill at some random color. And I'm going to click and drag over there while holding shift and command like this. And we can make it this, um, let's give it the background color. Once for now, this looks even cooler. We have this kind of a pie chart here. And we can also just uh, go to the pie chart and tie, uh, on the track mat, go to none and alpha mat, uh, on alpha, alpha and vertical mat, sorry. So it's not visible within this shape. So now if I move this over here and I parent the alpha mat to it, then it's see-through. The middle is see-through right now. So that looks cool as well. And of course, give this some animation too. So scale this up maybe while everything is scaling. So zero. So you get something like this, and that's really bad. We need to put the anchor point in the middle, of course, that <laughs> like that, all right? And then you have this kind of effect. Could also be cool, I don't know. So that is my pie chart of my favorite bars. Um, yeah, that's a really quick way to creating this um, pie chart effect uh, very easily. Cool, that was day number seven. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.